Hi everyone, my name is Linnea and I am a graduate student in speech language pathology at the University of Illinois. So today I'm going to do a speech and language lesson with a book called C is for Curious by Woodley Hubbard. Um, parents, I will be targeting social emotional skills through my reading today. So we are going to work on identifying and navigating different emotions. So specifically, we are going to work on understanding how many different emotions that there are and how it is okay to feel different things. So let's get started. C is for curious. An ABC of feelings. C is for curious. <gasps> oh. What is happening? How do you think this cat feels? It says A is for angry. He looks like there are it looks like there are lightning bolts going through him. I see all of these lightning bolts. Sometimes when I'm angry, I feel like there are lightning bolts going through my body, just like this cat. It's okay to feel angry. I feel angry sometimes. It's not okay to hurt your friends or hurt anybody. And it's not okay to scream or hurt yourself. It is okay to feel angry and make an angry face like this cat is doing. This cat is making his angry lion face. He's going. Will you show me your angry face? That's a good angry face. Yeah, it's okay to make that face. It's just not okay to hurt anybody. E is for bored. Huh, looks like all these cats are just talking with each other. And this cat is making a face like this. That's his bored face. It's okay to be bored. Sometimes I'm bored when I can't go to school for a long time. When I'm bored, sometimes I like to hug my family or read a book or listen to a book video like this one. Show me your bored face. <laughs> C is for curious. What do you think curious means? It looks like this cat is curious and he is wondering what is in that box? Hmm. This is his curious face. Hmm. Show me your curious face. It's great to be curious because then you get to find out new things about the world. Doubtful. Hmm. It looks like this mouse says, here is this bone. And the dog is thinking, hmm, what do I do now? He doesn't really know what to do. He's having a doubtful feeling. Do you ever not really know what to do? That happens to me too. We don't always know what to do. It's okay not to know what to do. When you don't know, you can ask somebody. So maybe the dog should ask the mouse, what do I do? Eager, E is for eager. What's happening in this picture? The ball is coming down and all of these dogs, even the little dog, they're all trying to catch it. 
They're so excited that they're jumping up and down. This is my eager face and body. Show me your eager. Being eager can be really fun because you can't wait for something to happen. You're so excited. Being eager can be fun too. Frightened. F is for frightened. Oh, this looks like a tiger caught in a storm. Do you see these lightning bolts and dark clouds? And oh, what does his face look like? It looks like that's his frightened face. Show me your frightened face. That's a good frightened face. Wow. It's okay to be frightened. Sometimes we all get frightened. I get frightened sometimes because things can be scary. Sometimes I get frightened if I drop something and I don't want it to break. Yeah. Or if I broke something, I'm frightened that somebody will be mad at me, be angry. It's okay to feel frightened. When I feel frightened and I'm scared somebody will be mad or I'm scared something will break, when I'm frightened, I like to ask for a hug. Or sometimes I go lay down. Sometimes I take a big breath. Okay, let's take big breaths together. That was a really good job. G is for giggly. Huh, oh, what are they doing? Yeah, I think they're laughing. Look at him, he's going, ha, ha, ha. Show me you're laughing, ha, 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 ha. Oh, I liked that. Giggly can be a really fun emotion. It means big smiles. I feel giggly sometimes when I read a really good book or when my mom and I joke together or when my teachers and I, we all are having a good day. Sometimes we laugh together. H is for happy. Oh, look, the cows are jumping everywhere. And look, I think he has a smile on his face. Oh, wow. Happy is a nice emotion. I think the cows are feeling happy because they're together and also because they're jumping and they feel the cool air going on their skin. Sometimes I feel happy when I eat something really yummy or I play a really fun game, then I feel happy. I also feel happy when I'm with my family. I is for impatient. Looks like the dog is chasing the, the mouse. Do you think that's a mouse? And the dog is chasing and he's pulling on his leash. He's trying to go so fast. Impatient means you are trying to go so fast. Do you ever feel like you are going so fast? Sometimes I feel like I need to go so fast. Like I run everywhere because I want to get there. It's okay to feel like you wanna go fast, but sometimes it's also important to slow down and pretend 
that you are a sloth. So when you are feeling impatient, you can show me your sloth slowness. So if I'm going very fast, but I shouldn't go very fast because I am in the house, then I have to pretend to be a sloth. And I go so slow. Be a sloth with me and show me your slow arms. That was a really good job. That made me happy. J is for jealous. Jealous because there's a snake. That snake looks like he is jealous of that mouse's ice cream cone. Oh my goodness. I am jealous of that mouse's ice cream cone. I wish I had some. Sometimes we all feel jealous of things that other people have. <sighs> One time my friend had a harmonica and I was jealous of her harmonica. I wanted it and it's okay that I felt jealous. It's okay to feel jealous. You just can't take anything from anybody else because that's not very kind. It's okay to feel. It's just not okay to take. Our next word is kind. Kind means nice. It means that you are doing something good for another person. Looks like this cat is giving that other cat a nice big plant. He is being so kind. It is so nice that he's being kind. Often, people who are nice to me are my family and my teachers because they all give me things like food and books. You can be kind to someone also by giving them a hug or telling them, I love you. Loving. Loving is a wonderful thing to feel. <sighs> when I am feeling loving, I like to give hugs. I give big hugs to people that I love, like my family and my friends. It is really nice to have people in your life that are loving. I love you. You are very loved. It's a great thing to feel. Moody is M. M is for moody. Looks like all of these different cats are feeling like they have clouds and lightning bolts over their heads. Oh my goodness, that doesn't seem like a very happy thing to feel, right? It seems kind of sad or angry. And it's okay to feel moody and sad and angry, it's okay. But remember, it's not okay to hurt anybody else when you're feeling moody. It's great to do your moody face, like these cats. Let's do a moody face together. That was a good face. Oh, here is one called nervous. Looks like, oh, there's a big fish in the water with sharp teeth. And there's a cat and his eyes are so big like this. Show me your big eyes. Feeling so nervous or frightened or scared. Yeah, it's okay to feel those feelings. The cat is feeling those feelings and I will tell the cat that it is okay to feel those feelings because we all get nervous. 
What do we do when we're nervous? Do you remember? Oh, we can take a deep breath. Good deep breathing. This dog is being obedient. Always for obedient because we are doing what somebody tells us and we are following directions. So when I say play the piano, you play the piano. Ready? Play the piano. That was a really good job. You were showing me that you were being obedient. Good job. Oh my goodness, what are all of these dogs doing? Oh my goodness, it looks like they're dancing all over this other dog. I guess maybe when people are feeling playful, they are feeling dancey. Will you show me your best dance moves? That was great. I really liked your dance moves. Q is for quiet. What does quiet mean? It means shh. Show me. Sometimes we want quiet because we are so tired or it has been so loud that we need things to be quiet for a little bit. Restless is another big word. It starts with an R. It's okay to feel restless. Sometimes when you're bored and you can't go to school, you feel restless. That's okay. When I'm feeling restless, sometimes I turn in circles like this. Will you show me you turning in circles and being restless? That was a really good job. Thank you for showing me. It's okay to feel restless. Sometimes if I feel restless, I go and find a fun game to play. Shy. Oh my goodness, I almost didn't even see that cat behind the sofa. Do you see him? Yeah, he's so cute. When I feel shy, I like to hide. I'll show you me hiding. Your turn, show me your hiding. That was a really good job of hiding. It's okay to feel shy. Sometimes when I feel shy, just like this cat, and I want to hide, I say to my friend, will you come with me? That's okay. T is for tearful. Oh, look, I think this bird is crying. It's okay to cry. Let's tell the bird that it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. Sometimes people feel sad and sometimes this bird feels sad and it's okay to cry, but when we're sad, we can't hurt anybody. Sometimes when I'm sad, I want a hug and I ask for a hug or I get a drink of water or I lay down and take a break. Understanding. U is for understanding. 
Hmm. Let's look at the picture. Oh, look. This cat broke something. He was probably frightened when he broke something. He was probably scared. So he was scared that his friend wouldn't like it, that he broke this thing. But instead, his friend made this face because his friend was understanding. It is so nice to be understanding sometimes to your friends because you have to know that they are feeling emotions too. And if your friend is frightened, it's nice to help them and give them a hug or tell them that it is okay. This friend was saying to this friend, it is okay. That's a good way to be understanding. V is for vain. Look at this pig. This pig has pictures of themselves all over the wall. They look like a very vain pig. The pig's shirt says me, 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 me all over it. How silly. The pig is so silly. It's good to care about yourself, but sometimes people care too much only about themselves and themselves, and they don't care enough about other people. So maybe this pig, she is thinking, hmm, I only care about myself. But she should think, Hmm, I care about all of my friends and my family. W is for wild. Show me your wild. I loved that wild. This cat is going wild. Wild. Sometimes we all feel kind of wild, right? Sometimes I dance very wild, or sometimes I move my body just because I feel wild. It's okay to feel wild. Sometimes your body just needs to move. It's not okay to hurt anybody when you're feeling wild, but it's okay to move your body around. Oh, this is a very big word. Starts with an X and it's called xenophobic. Very big word. These birds are looking at this spaceship. Look at the spaceship. There are strangers that they don't know coming from a different place. And they're feeling xenophobic, which means that they don't like people that they don't know. That's not a good thing. We learned earlier that you have to be kind to everybody. Let's tell these birds, be kind. Be kind. Yucky. Ew, it looks like all of these dogs are seeing all of these different bugs and they think, yucky. Show me your yucky face. Sometimes I eat foods that are yucky. It's okay to think that things are yucky. Sometimes it helps me to take a deep breath if I think things are yucky. I go. Zealous is the last page. This dog is feeling zealous and they are dancing everywhere. Oh my goodness, such a big dance. Jumping. Wow. That's beautiful. Look, they're dancing with a flower. 
I think that when you feel zealous, you're feeling full of life. It's nice to feel zealous. The end. Okay. So now you can have some more fun with feelings. Tell your family how you are feeling today. Are you happy or moody or bored or curious? Do you remember shy? What do you do when you're feeling shy? <gasps> yeah, that's a great thing to do. You hide. <laughs> Maybe you can practice what you, are do, what you would do if you feel curious. Put on your curious face and go on an adventure through your house. What is your family doing? What are the colors of your walls? Mine are blue. Go and find out. Be an adventurer. Here is my curious face. Put on yours. So parents, we covered a lot of different emotions today. In the days coming up, you could help your child identify their emotions when they are feeling them and tell them that it is okay to feel that way. If you yourself are feeling quiet or moody or playful, you can tell them that so that they learn how emotions are okay. I will see you next time and thank you so much for watching. Bye.